Hey everybody, welcome to my first screencast. Basically, um, I just got done moving from Windows uh, environment to complete Macintosh environment, getting used to the operating system, so on and so forth. I uh, just purchased Leopard, as you can see, I'm using it in the background. Um, and I just want to get, show you guys like, a little quick utility. I don't know about you guys, but back in Windows, you're able to, like, basically, if you had your start bar, I always used it on my left-hand side as I have my uh, launch dock on the left-hand side here. Basically, what I did <coughs> back in Windows was I created, like, a little, basically, a folder with all a bunch of shortcuts to my programs I use constantly. And basically, I hit the little drop, and I added a toolbar, hit the little drop down, and I had a bunch of shortcuts. Uh, basically, I wanted to have something similar in Mac, and because of Leopard's uh, new dock and interface where you can actually create a stack, it actually helps you easily be able to do that as well. And let me go ahead and show you basically what I have done. If I open up my um, folder here, and if I go to Applications, you'll see that I actually have a folder here called Apps, and I've already done it already, but basically you come into your applications and you basically pick the ones that you want to create in my case I'm just going to go ahead and create a new folder for you and I'm going to call it test apps and when I call this test apps basically I need to create aliases quote unquote shortcuts uh, for the basically the image to link to the program for it to link to so basically what I'm going to come in here I'm going to come into applications and let's say for example I want to get this one and I like to have, you know, for example, my, uh, I don't know, let's say address book as well. And I want, I access these two programs all the time. Of course, you can hold the command key and you can access more programs if you wish. You can simply just right click on it and then just go make alias. This will go ahead and create two aliases for you. By default, only the first one will be highlighted. Um, you can just simply hold, again, go back down to the other one, hold your command key, and then just simply move them to your test apps folder. Now they're out of your applications folder, so you don't have them crowding it up in there. And you have just basically two aliases that are in your test apps folder. From there, you can just simply drag this folder onto your dock and place it anywhere you wish. And now if you ever want to access those programs very quickly, all you do is just simply click on the stack, it opens up, and you can simply click whatever one you want. So let me go ahead and show you mine that I actually use constantly. I'll go ahead and get rid of that stack. And I'll show you the apps folder that I normally use. So if I come into here, and just quick, bam. Now I have my Photoshop, my Flash, my InDesign, my Cord. Cord is actually a nice application for you know multiple remote desktops if you work with a lot of Windows things. Crossover is a great application if you want to run like Counter-Strike Source, so on and so forth on your desktop without creating a complete parallels environment and or VMware environment. Dreamweaver, of course, for editing, Firefox, iChat, iTunes, Excel, so on and so forth. These are applications that I constantly access and will constantly need access to. So I just basically, like I said, create a stack and so on and so forth. If you want to do it, just keep adding more into your apps and you have more aliases and more aliases, it'll populate even here more. Now there is more options where you can go ahead and, you know, organize these a certain way, so on and so forth. Have one be your default over here. Um, we won't go into that into the screencast, but you get the general picture. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.